Oh my god. Look at all these Felicias. Good morning! Welcome back to another episode of Vlogmas. So I've been getting a ton of requests to do throughout Vlogmas some sort of like lookbook or try on haul, just share some outfit ideas that are plus size for the holiday season. Whether you're going to a party, just chilling with the fam, going to like, you know, a present exchange or a Christmas brunch. And boy, do I have the cutest outfits ever. So I planned some outfits. I'm gonna do a try on haul. This portion of today's vlog is sponsored by Boohoo. I love Boohoo. I shop from them all the time, even when they're not sponsored. They have the cutest plus size clothing. It's affordable. I love working with them. You guys are gonna die over these holiday outfits. They are so, so stunning. So uh, let's get into the try on haul. All right guys, so this is by far my favorite thing. We had to start off super hot here. Like, are you kidding me? This is the prettiest dress I have ever seen in my life. I love this. Um, it is full sequin gold, my favorite. So it has buttons all the way down the front. It's actually got a little bit of stretch. It's very comfortable actually, because I know that sequin things can be kind of unpleasant to wear, but this is extremely, extremely comfortable. So it's got, like I said, the buttons going all the way up into a little tie string bow. And then it has ruffle detailing all the way here. And then it also has ruffle detailing on the sleeve and kind of like a little balloon sleeve action there. I think this is absolutely stunning. You need it for New Year's or like Christmas or any holiday really. Picture it with like black tights and black booties and like a beautiful jacket, some really pretty earrings and like a little statement clutch. Oh, I had to show you guys this first because it's my favorite. Okay, so I think this next dress I might wear to Christmas or a Christmas party that I'm going to. It is absolutely stunning and it just Oh, it screams holiday. So it's a, first and foremost, a wrap dress, which I love the look of. I think these are so flattering. This like crisscross up here, the little cinch at the waist, the belt on the side. So this dress is cool because the front of it is a little bit lower, like it's asymmetrical. So I love that the front comes down lower at the bottom. This is so, so perfect for your favorite holiday party. And it's really comfortable. It's got really nice stretch to it. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. You can have some hors d'oeuvres and some snacks and still be feeling good. Because I hate being uncomfortable during like a holiday party. Because like I want to look cute, but I also still want to have fun. So I like comfortability as well. And I really do love, I feel like Boohoo is always very comfortable. Nothing's ever like tight and like, you can't move your arms. Oh, I love both of these. Like I am knocking off my holiday attire for the year um, at Boohoo. Let me know what you guys think. And this comes to like the perfect spot. You don't have to worry about like pinching it with um, a pin or something. Cause I hate when these don't fall at the right place, but this is so pretty. Ah! So next here again, this would be a great party dress. Really easy to dress up or down. So this is a black swing dress. It's got like kind of a mock turtleneck it's probably like half the length of a regular turtleneck. It's a really easy, breezy, stretchy, comfortable dress. And it is sparkly. Can you guys see the little sparkles? And it's ribbed. Also, I know that sometimes sparkles in a dress can be itchy. This is not itchy at all. <laughs> so one detail I really like about this dress that makes it unique is the little puffed shoulders. The little caps make it just a little bit more unique and a little bit more special. Picture this with like some burgundy tights and black booties. And this is another one of those dresses that's really comfortable where you can have a nice big old Christmas dinner and not have to worry about your pants getting too tight. But um, this is really just such a pretty easy dress. If you don't want to like stand out, but you still want to look fashionable and make a statement, perfect for New Year's too. Um, I'm loving all these. You're going to have to let me know your favorite at the end. So this one is a little bit more casual, but I still think Buffalo plaid is always perfect for the holidays. It just screams like December and Christmas. So this skirt is really, really comfortable. It's like, you know, super stretchy, just like a cute little mini skirt. And then I just paired it with a black sweater. This sweater is a really 
nice length if you don't want to tuck it in. It's very comfortable. It's like a perfect staple sweater to have in your wardrobe. I feel like you can't go wrong having just like a plain black sweater with like jeans or a skirt like this. It goes with everything, but I don't know, with some black tights, black booties, another staple, you can intermix these pieces really easily. These are the coolest pants. These are high-waisted trousers. I love them. They have this really cool wide leg and they are just like so fun. These are really cool if you don't like wearing like skirts or dresses and you are a pants girl. But the detailing on these are really cool. Up around the top, you know, you have this loose material, this paper bag fit. And then the belt is really cool with these buckles, not even buckles, just little, little holes. And then you tie in the front here. I think it's really, really cool. Like coolest pants ever. They have a little bit of stretch. They're very soft, very comfortable. With Boohoo, I typically order a size 20 on the bottom and then 2X, sometimes a 3X on top, depending on how I want things to fit. And then I threw on this crop top from Boohoo as well with it because I really wanted to like show the detail on the pants. Like even if I tucked a shirt in, I like that you can see a little bit of skin in between and you can really, really see the top of the pants. <laughs> so, and also this has really long sleeves and I like it. Like it just feels like, this feels like a trendy, vibey outfit. Okay, Th this is by far the best try on haul I've ever done. Like, mm. this is New Year's to the gods. Like you guys have to comment down below your favorite because I don't even know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I'm wearing a metallic gold jumpsuit. I'm sorry, but like it doesn't get better. It just doesn't. So it is wide leg. It has a tie around the waist so you get a little flattering moment. It's got this really cool high neck. I'll show you up close in a minute. Oh, you have to wear this to a New Year's party. So it has a lot of stretch to it. I think I was nervous it wouldn't have stretch. So I sized up on this. I think I got a 22. I would say size down or get your normal size. I could definitely do this in honestly, probably an 18. It's got a ton of room, but like, I think it looks kind of cool with that bagginess because you do have that cinch at the waist. So it's kind of like a free flow vibe. So get whatever size you want in that, just so you guys know. But look at this cool neck. Like it's so chic. Just get yourself a good strapless bra. They did have it in silver. This is the gold one. <sighs> I have no idea what I'm even doing on New Year's. Yarmin and I are trying to figure it out, but like, I don't know if I'm gonna wear this dress or the other dress. <laughs> well, this is a jumpsuit. I feel like this would be good if you're going out, like walking through the cold somewhere with like a jacket, booties, um, but you could wear the other one just like if you're having a party at home or going to a party and you'll be in a warm area, but ooh. All right, so the last dress here is a bit more casual, but still really cute, not even just for the holidays, but if you're going to like a little gift exchange with your friends or Christmas brunch, you guys know I'm obsessed with animal print. I love this turtleneck. It's like fold over, really comfortable, but this little mini sweater dress is super cute. It's like kind of fitted, but like a little bit roomy, but I think it's like the perfect amount of form fitting without being like super duper tight. If you live somewhere warmer, like LA or Florida, you could totally wear this without tights, um, or you could go ahead and throw on black tights and black booties to dress it up. I really do feel like this holiday season and this winter in general, you really can just have a few staple pieces and mix and match. But this is the last piece. Love this dress. Everything's gonna be linked down below. You guys have to comment and let me know your favorite piece because everything was really, really fashionable and pretty and just fit really nice. Like I'm just in sequin heaven. <laughs> so grab yours in time for the upcoming holiday season. Everything again, link down below and let's continue the vlog. It is afternoon and I'm in the car alone. So it wasn't much of a secret. You guys mostly guessed that uh, the big surprise was that Yar is moving in this weekend. And all honestly, all honestly, I said that the other day too. In all honesty, he's pretty much like been staying at the house a lot. We don't really stay in his apartment very much and he's paying rent for a place he doesn't stay at <laughs> so that rent will now be to our mortgage so the house um it, it honestly feels like home with yar there and i just love him so much and we are positive about each other and 
I'm not explaining myself. I, I like to explain our love because it's really special and I'm so happy and like you guys see that and it's really, really cool to get so many comments every day about like, you are so happy, you guys are glowing, like I can see it. So it just really, really means a lot that we have all this love and support coming our way. Um, it's just so weird. Like I feel so happy just knowing like I really did find my person. And when you know, you really just know. So uh, yeah, today Yar is working from home at his apartment. We are in Providence right now at his apartment. He is working inside in his place and I am gonna go run out and get some boxes. And then when he logs out, we're gonna like pack and clean the apartment. We've already been bringing most of his stuff over throughout the month and it's honestly not that much left. Uh, tomorrow I am going to a Christmas play with my family if you guys follow me through past vlogmas you know uh, every year I go to a Christmas play with my family in December and it's tomorrow and tomorrow is the day his lease is up and the only day he could move so tomorrow him and his brother will be moving the final things it's honestly not that much though because we've been moving so much over the last month so they're gonna do that tomorrow and tonight me and Yar will be cleaning and packing and just getting everything ready to go so they're good tomorrow. I feel really bad that I can't be there tomorrow to help them move, um, but that's that. We can't change the Christmas play date because we book it so early in advance with my cousins. So let's go pick up these boxes. Today is gonna be a cleaning and packing vlog and I'm just so, so excited. I am wearing my new shoes from Primark. Those really cute, chunky sneakers. They're really comfy, they're nice and wide. They feel good. All right, oh, kissing balls. I love them. I never know where to hang them though. Ooh, only I could come to Home Depot and get distracted by Christmas. Ooh, oh my god. Look at all these Felicias. Oh my god. Felicia, I didn't know you had so many brothers and sisters. Ooh, okay. I'm not gonna get distracted by Christmas. Oh, maybe I need a fifth tree. <laughs> I am so bad at these stores. Like, I have no idea where I'm going. What we gonna learn today? Haha. <laughs> moving boxes Ooh, closet kit i didn't know you could like build i guess you can build anything here it's the home depot all right he really doesn't have much stuff left oh god i'm so bad at deciding how many boxes to get but i'd rather get too many than not enough and have to come back oh man i suck at this Okay, so I got like one, two, three, four, five, six medium, two large, and two small. He really doesn't have that much. I probably got too many. Eh, it's better safe than sorry, guys. So what have we learned today? Home Depot doesn't take Apple Pay, and I forgot Yarman's wallet. So now I'm at Staples. I'm not going back to get his wallet because I have too much pride. Well, doesn't this all look familiar? Just phenomenal.
Your girl can't figure out how to put on these headphones. Your Sorry voice. for my nasally Your voice. voice, but let's We're see how long it'll take. We're in the midst of packing, and I, I've been using these, and I can't, I can't put them on by myself. I literally, like, you have to like stick your ear through this hole, and like, I just can't. He has to literally come and put them on me. Do I have a large earlobe? Oh, it's pretty simple. You just so confused. There you go. You just loop it around and you just stuff the little earpiece. And every time I think I have it, I let go and it like. Well, falls. you have to make sure it's secured You're before you let go. Listen here, honey. Okay. This is actually hilarious. Is it really? No, like, and I'm not. I'm not. And I've seen this like three times already. Like you struggle to put them in the case. This doesn't feel right. Really, it's been a minute already. Are you kidding me? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, ooh, da, da, boo. Right, nope, it's not in all the way. How is it not in the other way? Is that it? Doesn't it feel like it's going to pop out? Fix it, fix it, fix it. All right. It's yeah, it's not, not in. It's not in. You ready? You ready? No. I'm, uh, I'm you can do it this. with one hand? If I can do this with one hand, you should like. So I stuff the earpiece in your, right? And then you just grab your ear. There, that feels secure. It feels secure, but secure. your hair's in the way. You, got, you have to get your hair out the way. Well, no, I'm biased because I can see what I'm doing, but still, I can put those on in two seconds. When I'm doing it blind, it's uh, quite hard, so. You're stretching content, are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, no longer Oh, right? my goodness. Let's show them the progress we've made Bear so far, okay? Them. Thus far... Here's all this trash. Donation, donation. The kitchen's pretty much done. <sighs> That's packed. The living room behind is not done. But this was full of like toiletries and bathroom stuff. And then his bedroom is finished. All his military stuff's in there. It's filled. Uh oh. And then, bed. We're trying to sell this, but yeah, everything's packed. Lashes are off. Who was I fighting? So, um, we are now done packing. In case you guys wanted to see what Yarman's apartment looked like before he is moving out, um, I'll give you guys an apartment tour of Yarman's apartment that he will no longer be living in. So, this is the front door. When you walk in and go to the left, straight ahead is the living area. To the right is the kitchen and then over here there's like a little kind of breakfast nooky area we're gonna bring his bike tonight and then all this living space it was actually very spacious this was not even the apartment he lived in when we first started dating um, he moved in here about a month or two after and then over here to the right is the bathroom it's all clean and he had a really big bedroom too What are you upset about? I don't know. <laughs> Yarman is so grumpy because of his cold. I don't know what I'm upset about. I'm not upset about anything. You're really not, but like... So is this a straight line or... Oh my goodness, can't see anything in the rain. No, I think that's a turn only. Okay. Okay. All right. He's had a day. He's had a day. I'm all right. Are you? Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> Poor bub. How was your day? My day? You're very much appreciated, lady. I love you. I'm happy to help. Thank you. You have helped me.
so much over the last few months. So thank you. Oh, Christmas lights. Ooh. Anyway. Christmas lights. Oh, Christmas, Christmas lights. lights. The best part is, guys, Yarman doesn't know any of the words. No, no, not even about Christmas. Yarman doesn't know the words to, like, any songs. <laughs> but I wouldn't change it for the world. Like, he just... Oh, but he has confidence with it, which makes it even better. Because he'll just, like, confidently sing or rap a song and the words are just so wrong. The best advice I've ever received was confidence is everything. Oh, yeah. You can have the silliest dance moves. But mm -hmm. if your face is serious and you're owning it and you're in your own world, at some yeah. point someone's going to join in the dance and it can be the silliest dance, like you shaking your leg or mm -hmm. doing what you're doing, mm -hmm. you know? And if you got that serious face, they can laugh at you, but they're going to have a good time. And guess what? That's you, it. You made people smile. Ay. So confidence, that was the biggest rant ever, rant over. You're going to be a good dad. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no, people are driving oh like assholes God, today. Man. Earlier when I went to get the boxes, someone literally almost crashed into me. I almost called you. I was so scared. We're going to, we're going to our new house. It's now a new house because we live together. We're going have home. Have you been updating them on the situation? Yeah, I have. Uh, they know that Bubba Sparks is moving in. Know. We'll let you know when we are home. So what's the plan for the rest of the day? For, for Vlogmas? Absolutely yeah. nothing. I am so tired. Um, we were cleaning and packing all day and we are just going to relax tonight. Honestly, I probably won't even clean. Uh, clean. I probably won't relax tonight because we're going to probably eat dinner and then I'll have to edit this. Yeah. There's no relaxing till 2020, y'all. Why am I always like bombing your outros? You're not bombing them. You're a part of like them. like a thing. Yeah. It feels wrong when you're not in an outro now, to be honest. Bubba's cranky. <laughs> Me so or cranky. you? You were cranky earlier. Now it's yeah, my turn yeah, to be cranky. Yeah, it's, it's rubbed off. Bear with us. Please bear with us. Yeah. We're trying. I'm tired. He's ill. We move some... tomorrow. Oh, yeah. You have to move tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gotta get the U-Haul in the morning. Yeah. I know. So what is this? It's an outro, right? Yeah, it's an outro. If you could take some footage of me All tomorrow, right. feel free. Yeah, maybe I'll take Ozzy with me. Oh, you should. Because I'll be at a Christmas play, so I won't yeah. be able to vlog much. Only if you feel like it, though. Okay. No pressure. Sounds good. All right, guys. We're going to bed soon. Today was a filled day. Today was a very filled day. Yeah. Don't forget to check out those Boohoo outfits down below. All right. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs, thumbs up. up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> That's become our outro. Yeah. All right. Happy Vlogmas. Peace. Peace. See you tomorrow.